Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my fourth of eight videos recapping my trip to the National Sports Collectors Convention that was held in Cleveland. So this video are going to show all of my in-person autographed trading cards that I got at the TriStar Autograph Pavilion. My previous video showed all of the not trading cards, which was a bit of a huge video. Um, you had oh, baseballs, bobbleheads, the stadium seat, good stuff. Well, this has good stuff too. It's not all VIP free signers. There are good cards to be had here. I have a total of 118 cards now. Most of them are the free signers. But um, let's go ahead and start showing it here. In the order with which I received them on Wednesday at the VIP party, I got Doc Gooden on his 84 Tops traded rookie card. Then I got at the Autograph Pavilion, I got Len Barker on seven trading cards. And then I got Hanford Dixon on five trading cards. I had bought extra VIP, sh VIP autograph ticket sheets off people. That allowed me to do that. So that was Wednesday. And then Thursday starts off big. Big one on Thursday. So... Let's just go ahead and show it to you. I haven't even taken it out of the top loader. We got Cal Ripken Jr. On the left and on the right, I got them signed TTM. And on the middle right there, Cal Ripken Jr. All signed in thin blue Sharpie. My goodness, that card is beautiful. Went ahead and got TriStar to authenticate that one. Yeah. That was cool. Well worth it in hindsight. I'm so glad I did it. So, what a way to start off Thursday. That was my first autograph I got on Thursday. Then we got VIP Signer. We got two cards of Gus Ferrat. Then we got VIP Signer Randy Grossman. Three cards signed by Randy Grossman. Went with the gold paint pen because those cards were a little bit on the darker side. They came out nice. Plus, Steelers are black and gold. That came out a lot better than I thought it would. And next one's a biggie. You can see the name behind it. I paid up for Joe Green. It was advertised that the Hall of Fame inscription was free when requested. And you can tell, like, he didn't really want to sign the inscription. He didn't seem very excited to sign the inscription. Kind of maintaining his mean Joe Green status there. But, yeah, I got mean Joe Green on his rookie card with the Hall of Fame inscription. Way hand got try start to nab down that one too. So um very good. Alright, nice to get that one. Alright, next up, Randy Grossman was doing wild card tickets. So I got four ticket four cards signed by Gus Ferrat. And then Mike Tomzak. I got seven cards signed by Mike Time Mike Tomzak. The Steelers cards with him in a Steelers uniform I had sent through the mail, so it's not like I had. <laughs> but that's okay. I had lots of other cards of them. Then I was actually sitting down in the VIP lounge, and from the MLB network, Greg Amsinger happened to be there. So um socialized with the people at my t the table I was just sitting at, and he went ahead and signed both of these cards for me. Very cool. Next up, back at, up at the uh, TriStar Autograph Pavilion, VIP signer, two cards, signed by Cardale Jones. And that was Thursday. So we're going to jump to Friday, where I went through Terry Cummins' line twice, because I just... It's just the way it worked out. I had seven tickets for him, but I wanted to get the two photos and this one signed by him all in the same color. It's one of those thick collector books. And those all in gold. Then I went through his line again and got four cards signed by him. And while I was waiting 
in the lines. Someone gave me, said, I don't want to go through the lines again. I have two tickets for Terry Cummings here. You can have them. So I went ahead and got two more cards signed by Terry Cummings. And then Terry Cummings was advertised as doing wild cards. So I took five cards, five wild cards for Mr. Cummings. And then I thought, you know, I have three more cards of him. Let me go through again and get those last three cards signed by him because I have so many wild cards. Why the heck not? Because some of these guys won't end up doing wild cards. And that ended up being the truth. I'm glad I did that. So then we had Pat Tabler, whom the first time I went through, I had one photo and three cards. So there's the three cards. So then he started doing wild cards. Well, I have eight cards, and I have lots of wild cards, so I got eight cards signed by Pat Tabler. And the truth is, I wish I would have brought more cards of some of these guys, but there's no way of knowing which ones we're going to sign and which ones we're not. Next up was VIP signer Rico Petroselli. I had six cards with his name, six tickets, so I got six cards signed by him including his second year Trophy Cup card. Nice looking 72. There's his rookie on the 65. And then a nice card from the 68 set. And then I still had I, lots of wild card tickets. I thought, you know, I have eight more cards of Pat Tabler. Let's, let's use eight wild card tickets. And I'm glad I did because a lot of the other guys I did not end up using wild cards for, so it worked out. So I got lots of Pat Tabler and lots of Terry Cummings on Friday. <laughs> so there we go. And that takes us to Saturday where VIP signer Dick Ambrose got three cards of Dick Ambrose. He looked amazing. I mean, not that Tom Cousinaw didn't look amazing. I mean, Tom Cousinaw was next. I got him on... Yeah, Dick Ambrose was four cards. It was Tom Cousinaw. I had three cards. There we go. One, two, and three. Part of the VIP signers was Carlos Baerga. I got him on four cards. A baseball and four cards. And then as a replacement for Milt Wilcox was Kevin Mack. Well, it's not like I was going to drive two hours home and two hours back just to get cards of Kevin Mack. So I had two of these autograph cards for him. And then Carlos Baerga was doing VIP tickets. So I got eight more cards signed by Carlos Baerga. When he saw this credit card trading card and this credit card trading card he pulled out his cell phone and took a picture of the two of them apparently he'd never seen those before apparently which was pretty cool to have that little interaction and then the last one on Saturday was VIP signer Bob Golick five trading cards signed by Bob Golick And then that takes us to Sunday, the final day. First up was VIP signer. Corey Snyder got him on six cards, along with that photo and the baseball, the Olympic baseball you would have seen in the prior video. Pretty sure Corey Snyder had wild cards, but I wasn't there to hear the announcement. That's okay. All right, we got a big boy card coming up. I did not take this out of the holder, much like how I didn't take it out of the, Cal, the holder for Cal Ripken or Joe Green. Whew. Next up is Bob Lilly, who is the best VIP signer they had there. I paid up for the autograph inscription ticket. Got him on his rookie card, the 63. This is not a cheap card. And if I took this out of the... Uh, card saver there you'd see other than it being top to bottom it's a pretty sharp card with the hall of fame inscription i did not want to send this card if you look up the price of this card in nice condition you'll you'd see why so this was such a great way to get the bob lily card rookie card 
And then I got him on four other cards. Well, I kept that one in the holder as well. well. That's not a super. That's not a super cheap card either. He added the Hall of Fame inscription without asking to that, which was cool. And we're going to start wrapping this up pretty soon. VIP signer J.T. Thomas on these two cards. And then finally, four cards of Joe Charbonneau. All right, there's 118 cards. I mean, obviously, that one's huge. There's no doubt about that. Um, that's not any type of bias there with being a Pittsburgh fan, because obviously there's a bias there. Um, it, like this, this was huge. These three right here, and then of course, yeah. Oh, I hope this turns out to be a thumbnail somehow. <laughs> so we got Mean Joe Green, Bob Lilly, Cal Ripken Jr. That's such good stuff there. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I got four more recap videos to show you from the National, 2024 National. I got my trading card purchases. Oh my gosh, all my trading card purchases to show you. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video such as this one on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.